Hey dolls and gents, so I'm going to do my most requested video today and that is an update on what I've been using for my acne and hyperpigmentation. So many of you guys have been yelling at me for not doing this video, so that is what we're doing right now. And this is probably going to be a lengthy video because I am going to be talking about my staple products for acne and hyperpigmentation. I do not use all of these at the same time. I kind of go back and forth between the products depending on what I need, but you will find out what I use each product for within the video. So one of my first staple products is a cleanser and this is the DDF brightening cleanser. I discussed this in my last how to get rid of acne scars video and this will continually be in my skincare regimen. I absolutely love this. It's really great at evening the skin tone and texture. I have not been using this as of late. I've been traveling a lot lately so I have have been not sticking with my skincare regimen just because I don't like traveling with a whole bunch of products but I absolutely love this cleanser and if you're looking for something that's going to quickly brighten your skin and you're going to use it on a regular basis check this out another staple cleanser is one from Lush and it's called Coal Face and this is what it looks like it's like a bar cleanser but it does have exfoliating beads in it it has a nice scent to it. I absolutely love this and I do use it with my Clarisonic. I'll just wet it and rub it across my Clarisonic and use it on my face. But this is really great at getting dead skin off but cleansing your skin at the same time. Another staple exfoliating cleanser for me is the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash, and this one is from Philosophy, and I actually just picked up another one. They had it on sale on Ulta because they are having the 21 Days of Beauty right now, so I would definitely recommend you guys go to Ulta and see what they have on sale for the day because I got this for like 15 bucks. I want to say and it was like 12 or nine dollars off something like that but I love this cleanser because it's gentle enough to use on an everyday basis but it also exfoliates your skin at the same time this is going to leave your skin very smooth every day and eventually it is going to wear down the dead skin and it's also going to bring to surface new skin it's a very slow process obviously because it's a light exfoliator but I do love this cleanser so another staple product for me is this Ocean Salt from Lush and this is an exfoliator and this is not gentle. It's not rough either but I would say this is a medium exfoliant. It definitely does not need to be used on an everyday basis. I would do this once or twice a week two to three times if you have super oily skin but if your skin is sensitive do it like once or twice a week. But I absolutely love this. It smells like lime. It smells like margaritas to me. But it has salt in it and it is very nice and exfoliating on the skin. Whenever you use this, your skin will feel like a baby soft. And I know it is kind of pricey, but this is well worth it. I will always have this on hand. You can use this on your body as well, but I like to just use it on my face. Another exfoliator that I love, but it's more like a mask, is this Glam Glow. And this is newer to my skincare regimen as opposed to my Ocean Salt. I've been using Ocean Salt now for at least a year, but this one I've used for about three months now, and I use it probably once a month maybe once every two months, but this is really great. It does tingle and feel really weird, but it brings all your impurities to the surface, and it has little exfoliants in it, so it's really great at exfoliating, but also a mask as well. So another holy grail mask for me is this Lush Mask of Magnamenti. If I have a bunch of breakouts on my skin and I apply this, the next day, my acne is like so much better. It's crazy. But it has mint in it and a couple of other ingredients. 
I don't even want to say because if I say the incorrect one, I know someone's going to correct me. But I absolutely love this mask. You need this product in your life. And I only suggest getting a little bit at a time because Lush products, they go bad quite quickly, more quickly than other products just because some of them are natural and they have natural ingredients in them. So the products do expire more quickly than other skincare products. But I recommend getting a smaller size of this because a little bit goes a long way. I have tried so many brightening serums or things that claim to get rid of dark spot correctors, but none of them have worked previously or they've caused my skin to break out or it just was super expensive and the results were very mild. What I have found that has really worked for me is the Sephora Ultimate Brightening Serum. I used this before my wedding and it's like done now. I need to get another one. But my skin was looking so good for my wedding day because of this. Sephora and rep was like, you need to try this. It really works. And I was very skeptic because I'm like, they just want to sell this product to me so that I can buy it and they get a commission off of it. But honey, she was so right about this product. I definitely recommend that you try this because when I was using this continuously, my acne scarring was about 75% lighter than than it was before I started using this. Now, the thing with acne scarring is that if you don't continue to use these products and sunscreen at the same time, your dark spots are going to get darker again because you're going out in the sun, especially during the summertime and spring. So it's very important to wear SPF at the same time as doing anything that is involving some sort of lightning or um, dark spot removal. So these products are really good for acne and acne alone. This does nothing for the hyperpigmentation or the acne scarring, but I have to have this clean and clear Persia Gel 10 on deck. This is just benzoyl peroxide. Some people say that 5% is the most effective and past that point it does nothing for your skin. But I do use the 10% and I literally slap it on the areas where I'm breaking out during nighttime and I absolutely love the results in the morning because it basically dries out that acne and your skin will get extremely dry when using benzoyl peroxide but I find that it is more effective on my skin type with benzoyl peroxide than using the salicylic acid. I also am obsessed with the Mario Badescu drying lotion. I literally have bought like maybe five of these in my lifetime. And what you do is you take a Q-tip and you dip it in this pink settlement down below. It does have calamine lotion in it. That's why it has that pink tint to it. But you just apply it on the little pimple problem areas and in the morning it will be dried out or like 75% gone. This stuff is like hope in a bottle. I love it. <laughs> So I saved the best product for last and for those of you who clicked off the video a long time ago, you're going to miss very vital information. And I had seen videos on this previously and I'm like, why would you want to inflict pain on yourself? But seriously, this little device right here is the bomb. And you're probably like, girl, what is this? This is a derma roller and it basically has little pin needles on it and you roll it across your face in several different directions. Basically, you're putting little punctures in your skin. Nothing serious because again, these needles are super small that you're not going to see anything on the surface. It's not like that Kim K uh, facial where it's like blood all over your face. No, this thing here is like, I love this. This is the reason why you guys have been complimenting my skin as of late. I started back using this. I was using this for a while and then I had like fell off of it. And then I've been continually using it again for the past month. 
and I use this once a week only. You do not want to overdo it with this derma roller. And yes, I am going to do a demo for you guys so you can see me inflicting pain on myself. But no, seriously, it doesn't hurt. I started off first with a 0.25 derma roller and I'm using the 0.5 now. And I also have a 0.75 and a 1.0 millimeter. But I will continually graduate my way up to the one. The one kind of scares me a little bit, but the reason for this working is the fact that it puts little holes in your skin and it's going to cause your skin to want to repair itself. So it's going to basically create new skin, get rid of that nasty hyperpigmentation, acne scarring on top of the skin. And this is really good for those of you who have like ice pick scarring from acne. I just have the discoloration, but this has been working great with it. And even if you don't have acne scarring, this works really great at getting the serum really deep down in your skin. So you'll definitely want to apply a good serum after you use your derma roller. And you don't want to use anything with a bunch of chemicals in it because you don't want to apply that on your open skin. You want to apply natural products. So the serum that I've been using is from Banish Acne Scars and my derma roller is also from Banish Acne Scars and this has vitamin E, C, and ferulic acid in it and this is just really great at renewing your skin. Vitamin C is really good for brightening your skin and getting rid of acne scars and vitamin E is just really great overall for your skin but I like putting this in my fridge so it's very cool when I apply it on the skin but you'll see me using my derma roller and my serum. All right, let's get into this derma roller demo. I'm just rolling it up and down my face and up and down direction, left and right, side to side. Basically, I want to hit every part of my skin and puncture it with those little needles. This is the 0.5 millimeter derma roller. Like I said, they have one that's 0.25, which I recommend starting out with that. And then they have a 0.75 and a 1.0 millimeter. And as you can see, it doesn't hurt, but you definitely want to apply the derma roller on your skin after it's been cleansed. You don't want to apply any toner. You don't want to apply any serums or moisturizer prior to doing this. That's why like around my mouth, as you can see, like I have uh, eczema. So it's like really dry there because I haven't applied any moisturizer yet. But the forehead, I think, hurts the most just because I guess the skin on there is thinner than on your cheek area, but it still did not hurt. I would say the forehead and the temples are the areas where I feel it the most, but it almost feels so good that it hurts. Am I crazy? <laughs> But yeah, this whole process took me a total of five minutes. I did speed it up, but five minutes for rolling your entire face is really nothing. And the results are phenomenal. So I really like to focus on my cheek area just because that's where I have the most discoloration from acne scarring. That's where I used to get acne a lot. And I find that this roller really helps with that area. If any of you have any questions about this derma roller or the full process, leave it in the comments section down below. I hope that I showed and covered pretty much everything in this video, but if I missed anything, just leave your comment down below. So next, I'm just going in with my serum and I'm using the Banish Acne Scars Vitamin C, E, and Ferulic Acid Serum. And as I mentioned previously, you want to use one without chemicals just because your skin has been punctured and you don't want those chemicals seeping in into your face and into your bloodstream. But I'm just patting it in very, very lightly on my skin. I don't want to cause any more trauma than the derma roller did. So it's really important, especially since we're working with little needles, to sterilize your derma roller before and after each use. And you do that with a little bit of alcohol in this dish. And I just use the 91% alcohol. The higher the content, the better. But you basically just put it in there and you let it sit. 
And you want to let it sit. I let mine sit for like an hour in there just so I can make sure that it's very sanitized before I'm applying it on my skin because it would really suck for this to be really filled with bacteria and you're applying it on your skin, it's not going to do justice for you because you're gonna be applying bacteria back into your face. So you definitely wanna sanitize it and I do that before and after every use. Just wanted to say that for you guys because it's super important. So once I've sterilized my derma roller, I just put it back in the case and I just let this sit in my sink drawer. If you're interested in getting your own derma roller, I will have a link down below of where you can purchase this along with the serum. And we're also gonna do an Instagram giveaway, so I will have that information in the description box down below for you guys. So I hope that you all found this video helpful and it answered all your questions about what I've been doing to my skin as of late. Again, don't forget to enter the Instagram giveaway. I will have information in the description box down below and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye!